Edge of Time, Episode 1. So this is a game I got an email about. It's actually uh, a demo you can download for free on itch.io, so link in the description for that. We thought I'd take this for a spin for a little while. It's supposed to be an action puzzle game? It's been seven years. Seven years since we woke up to this nightmare. Since they first appeared. Monsters, beasts, immortals. Ravaging our cities, destroying our homes, killing billions of innocent people. Seven years of fighting an enemy we still don't understand. An enemy that can't be killed. An enemy bent on our annihilation. Despite the odds, we can't live in fear. We can't lose hope. We must fight back. This is Serenity Chase of the Resistance. If you're hearing this, we need you. It is the year 2074 that has been ravaged by a race of monsters called the Aeus. Their origin is unknown, their intentions are unclear, and as far as humanity can tell, they are immortal. For seven years, humans have fought for survival. The war has reached every corner of the world, destroying civilization as we know it. What's left of humanity has organized into what is now known as the Resistance. Desperate to fight back, the Resistance pursues rumors of a mysterious shard, with the power to banish the Immortals for good. Crow, Aaron, and Rave lead a small group of Resistance fighters to a remote island, where the shard is said to be hidden. Let's go get our MacGuffin, Crow or Rave. Ah. Uh, these are names. Rave? Hey, Leon Kennedy. In search for his purpose, an outlaw joins the Resistance to save humanity from extinction. Available in The Rise of the Aeus. Oh, I can't pick that story? Okay. <laughs> that one's actually not in the game right, right now. Victor Crow, a soldier who's sworn to do anything to banish the Aeus from the... I keep feeling like I'm saying ass in an accent. In an accent. Like, we're going to banish the Aeus from the face of the planet. I need that shard to wipe out those damned immortals. Found anything yet, Lieutenant? Damn. I got nothing. This island is enormous. You're telling me. I've been running around for hours, not to mention a bunch of immortals chasing my ass. Let's conserve our ammo. We can still end this war if we find the shard. That shard is the only thing with the power to banish these immortals for good. You're right. I think it's best if we split up. Take the route to the east. I'll head west. Got it. I have to find that shard before anyone else does. Uh oh. Oh, oh I, had to, I had to get past the dialogue. Okay, I was like, how do I, how do I move? But WSD is not working. Aaron took the east route. I should take the west. All right. No mouse on screen. That's tripping me up. I better avoid the laser sensors, or the alarms will go off. What? What? Scroll up to jump. Scroll down to roll. Uh... It's not unintuitive, necessarily. It's just no game has ever chosen those buttons before. There is a clear up and down, I suppose. Oh, my mouse is on the screen now. Hi. Tab. It's a pressure operator door. Alright, double click. Zhoop. 
No items, so that's my bag. Can I do anything here, or... There's a... this... we could turn this, right? It's locked. I should leave it uh, leave it for now and check the vicinity. Hmm. Maybe we'll find like a, a key. It looks like a fuse box. So this thing's worth 10, which you can read up there. This multiplies it by 30. So you can change how much it is based on where you slot it. A pressure controller. But I don't know what the number is I'm supposed to have. Thirty-five. A pressure-operated door. It's also locked. This one says thirty-five. What did the other one say? You might have to set them to the number on the door. One twenty. Well, I can't get that without having more of these guys. Then yeah, you might just have to get the number with thirty-five or one twenty on the pressure thing to open it. But I need to have another one of those things. That looks safe. Just a weird Satan monster thing. Hey, how you doing? There's one. Fifteen. Oh, drag it to here? A purple cartridge. I can work with this. So how high can I get this? The highest number I can get right now is 90. Okay. The other one wants 35, so 15 times 1 plus 20 would be 35. That probably opened the door behind me. And I need a third one to continue. Yep. Oh, don't touch those, or you fade to black. <laughs> Alright, that's a whole lot of nothing. New cartridge, or... Yep, 25. Oh, yeah. A third cartridge and a way bigger one. That should make 120 pretty easy to get. Yep. <laughs> pretty easy to get. Might as well take the other one with us while we're gone. Might need it somewhere else. Side quest, memory core. Find all 20 memory cores hidden around the island. I most certainly will not, since this is a one-off, but maybe... Maybe someone would. What do we have here? These open? Or, oh, there's a memory core. What that's, wait, what'd that say? Ah, I clicked too fast. I think it said the immortal race. Can I look at memory cores? That disables the audio. That disables the options menu. The other one's clearly like, leave the game. Ah, memory core is listed up in the top corner. It says I have one out of 20. Yeah. 
Gotta be very careful here. And also hope you judge correctly what the height of these things are. You have like a turning radius to you, kind of. Oh, come on. Wait, where am I now? Okay. Carefully. I think we want to go diagonal. If you go diagonal, you leave yourself with more space. Oh, these, this is... Oh, I recommend not sticking with this system. It's not great platforming, and I kind of feel like it doesn't really add much to the game. It's blocked. I gotta find another way around. It's not the mouse wheel controls that are weird, actually. It's just the fact that your character doesn't turn instantly in the direction you turn towards. They, they kind of slowly turn towards it, which makes it an experience trying to make them not walk directly into a laser because they don't move like a person. Our hover jet was damaged in the crash. We move the boards around. It seems to be an underground passage. I need some kind of tool to open this. It's... We have a hammer, a pry bar, a crowbar. I need some kind of tool. There's nothing here I can use. Not even one thing? Not even one of the hollow things or whatever I need? Alright. So far I'm kind of just rubbing my face on things to see if you have an interact or not. That's kind of part of the experience. All right, open up. There's nothing inside. Huh. Who brought all these empty boxes out here? The empty box shipping company? Like, what's, what's the deal here? That one's 30, so there must be another one nearby. All right. Easy enough to access from the other side, which I've seen before. Oh, this one changes one, two, that one changes one, two, three. So they don't have completely symmetrical controls. Oh, look, a crowbar. Ah, what? Hi. What? What? Oh, hi. Uh, uh... Roll and jump. So, roll when he's doing yellow. What? Oh shit. So, roll when he's doing yellow. And then jump when he's doing blue. Uh, click? Oh. I do it based on where it lines up. I did, so I jump over a shockwave. Oh. What the fuck? Alright. Roll, uh... Okay, this is where... Mouse wheel controls might start to feel really weird. Is when I have to do them for combat. Oh god. Click. 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 Alright. Damned immortal. If he's so immortal, why is he running away? Why didn't he just keep going forever till I died? I wasn't even that good at staying alive. A lever for removing nails. It's... It's a crowbar. It, it's called a crowbar. Huh. Kudos for having a kind of inventive combat system. It's really awkward, though. Like, really awkward. Do we have a fuse? We don't, do we? Oh, and yeah, I do. The one I took out. Oh, wait, that's a 15. Boom. Nailed it. I think it was a 30.
Not sure if I should go here or the direction that the crowbar takes me. Listen to that retro sounding water effect. Like a PS1 game. Huh. That's interesting to hear. Well, there's a headless corpse and not much else in here. Can I... Nope. There's something lying on the ground. Uh, the Valiant Wolf memory. We should be able to pry this up now, right? Uh, was it back here? Or... Okay, it is here. Lost my place a little bit. Aha! Defeated. Crap, I fell into some kind of dungeon. You fell in or you jumped in? Had you, I hope you weren't standing on it while you were dismantling it. I gotta be care more careful. Wait, you, you did this on accident? How did you mess that up? Oh. So the lasers kill you in this universe. They're not like a they're not like a security system of like, oh no, they've spotted us. They know we're here now. It's like straight up they kill you on the spot. What? Oh, we can just take that? Separable chip. I bet we get attacked now by lasers. Yeah, we do. Some kind of some kind of mechanism. Can I like look at it or something? Split and combine. Okay. I think I needed another item for that. Oh, split and combine. There we go. The chip is incomplete. Well, that was the point. Nope. Nope. Split and combine. Boink. There we go. I don't think we can leave that. Uh, leave with that. I think it's going to trap us. Can't go that way. Uh. Oh, oh, we can't go that way. That's not that's not a room, it's just a weird thing that looks a lot like a room. <laughs> oh Jesus. Calm down, laser. There's nothing here. I thought the symbol on on the on the inside might be important, but nope. Waha! Hmm. There we go. I guess I just gotta head back the long way. <laughs> Just awkward enough to be a little a little spooky to go by. What's doing all those ripples? Hmm. What's going on over here? Um. Oh, hey, a key. An old key. I guess that'll go somewhere. One and three. Huh. Did I have a switch for one or three before? It's locked. Someone's trapped inside. I've got to find a way to open this door. With, with, do you use the, the key? No, I was just saying I gotta find a way to open the door. I guess the key doesn't work. Oh, is this a chance to get more of these guys? The mechanism seems to be keeping the red door shut. It requires a C4 chip. Okay, so I've seen a C6 chip, but it seemed like if I took... It wouldn't go back in if it wasn't complete. 
Mechanism seems to be keeping the red door shut. C5 shit. Oh, we need a lot of chips. That's one in three. This one changes one. There we go. Easy peasy. That one's open. Is that important? Guess not. It won't budge. Store has no power over me anymore. There are so many empty boxes. They are everywhere. Okay. What is happening here? Ah. Uh, okay. Something happened in here? No? I'm wondering if I should just make them touch or something or point at each other. Uh, now they're both pointing at doors. Is that important? What in the world? What is the goal here? Maybe they do have to point at each other at the same time. Story information not available in demo mode. Creation of NEC memory. Is that all I had to do? Not make them touch? Nope. That doesn't seem to matter. Oh well, that's about the time we have today, guys. So thanks for watching like always. This has been Edge of Time. And if you want to check it, check out this game, or at the moment I think it's just the episode 1 demo, you can go to the itch.io link in the description. Thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.